possible to find the quadratic equation when you are given the root of that equation. So that is what we want to find now. Find a quadratic equation with root alpha is equal to 3 and beta is equal to minus 5. So this one means that x is equal to 3 or x is equal to minus 5. That means alpha and beta are the roots of this quadratic equation. So we want to use this roots to find the quadratic equation itself now you cannot say x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x plus 5 is equal to 0 so here so hence x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 5 is equal to 0 expanding so expanding x multiplied by x is equal to x squared x multiplied by plus 5 plus 5 x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 3 x minus 3 multiplied by 5 minus 15 is equal to 0 x squared plus 2 x minus 15 is equal to 0 so here is the quadratic equation that they have us to find. So the quadratic equation equation whose roots are 3 and minus 5 is x squared plus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0. So here is method 1. So we want to use two methods. Here is the first method. The second method is to use the formula method. Recall that quadratic equation can be formed from this equation x squared minus sum of roots multiplied by x plus product of roots where sum of roots is equal to alpha plus beta and alpha plus beta we derive it in the last video i will link the link in the description box is equal to minus b over a and product of roots is equal to c over a here is the sum of roots and here is the product of roots so from here the next thing that we need to do is to write the alpha is equal to 3 and beta is equal to minus 5. So alpha plus beta will now be equal to 3 plus minus 5, which is equal to 3 minus 5. And the answer is equal to minus 2. So product of roots will now be equal to 3 multiplied by minus 5. And that is minus 15. So the next thing is that we have to substitute all this inside this equation 1. Let's call it equation 1. So that means we have x squared minus sum of roots. The sum of roots that I've got is a minus 2 multiplied by x plus product of roots is equal to minus 15 then everything is equal to zero. So here, x squared plus 2x minus 15 is equal to zero. Can you see? So we got the same thing. So it's now your choice to look for the one that is very, very easy for you. Now let's have another example. Example two. Find a quadratic equation whose roots are minus 3 over 4 and minus 3 over 4. Solution.
x is equal to minus 3 over 4 or x is equal to minus 3 over 4. So x plus 3 over 4 is equal to 0 or x plus 3 over 4 is equal to 0. Hence, x plus 3 over 4 multiplied by x plus 3 over 4, everything is equal to 0. So, expanding, expanding, we have x squared, x multiplied by plus 3 over 4 plus 3 over 4x, 3 over 4 multiplied by x plus 3 over 4x, plus 3 over 4 multiplied by 3 over 4 plus 9 over 16 is equal to 0. x squared plus we find the healthy hem of 4 and 4 is equal to 4. So we have 3x plus 3x plus 9 over 16 is equal to 0 x squared plus 6x over 4 plus 9 over 16 is equal to 0. So from here, so you can write it and say that this is a x squared plus 6 over 4x plus 9 over 16 is equal to 0. Multiply through by 16, give 16. Multiply by x squared plus 6 over 4x plus 9 over 16 is equal to 0 multiplied by 16. Now, here we have 16x squared plus 4 here. Also, if we multiply this one by 16, 4 in 16, 4. 4 multiplied by 6, 24. 24x plus 9 because 16 will cancel 16 is equal to 0 so here is the equation so therefore the quadratic equation whose roots uh, minus 3 over 4 and minus 3 over 4 is 16x squared plus 24x plus 9. Everything is equal to 0. So that is method 1. So method 2. So we need some of roots. So alpha is equal to minus 3 over 4 and beta is also minus 3 over 4. So alpha plus beta, that is sum of roots, will now be equal to minus 3 over 4 minus 3 over 4, which is equal to minus 6 over 4. So 2 cancel this one, 3, then here 2. So we have minus 3 over 2. So alpha, beta, that is the product of roots, will be equal to minus 3 over 4 multiplied by minus 3 over 4. Negative times negative is equal to plus. So nine, 3 times 3, 9 over 16. So according to the formula, which is x squared minus sum of roots, Multiply by x plus product of roots is equal to zero. So x squared minus, what is sum of roots? Sum of roots here is minus 3 over 2 x then plus 9 over 16. So we have x squared plus 3 over 2 then x plus 9 over 16. Everything is equal to zero. 
multiplying through by 16 gives by 16 gives so we have 16 multiplied by x squared plus 3 over 2 x plus 9 over 16 is equal to 16 multiplied by 0. So 16x squared, then 2 in 16, 8. 8 multiplied by 3, 24, plus 24x plus 16 is 16, 1. 1 times 9, 9 is equal to 0. Here is the equation. So that is how to solve that one. So we use two methods to solve that one. So in another video, we continue from here. Thank you.